Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 16. Hey, we're in Workbook Business Math Chapter 2. If you want to download it, you can go to my YouTube channel. Click on my college website link. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to our college uh, site. Hey, we have to talk. We're in Chapter 2 now. We need to talk about fractions. We're going to start over in our PDFs. Hey, fractions. What is a fraction? 1 divided by 2. Oh, wait a second. Shh, a fraction? You mean that just means division? You bet. 1 half, 1 over 2, is equal to 1 divided by 2, or this 1 divided by 2. It's just division. The top is called the numerator or the dividend. The bottom is called the denominator and the or the divisor. I always call them numerator and denominator. Hey, if you divide it, 1 divided by 2 equals 0.5. So that's actually how you convert a fraction to a decimal. And whatever the answer is, that's called the answer or the quotient. Remember, it's just division. In the last chapter, we talked about dividing. Hey, a fraction represents parts of a whole or total. right? So if you eat two pieces of pizza and there's six total, there's the pie right there. Mmm, I'm hungry for pizza now. But as a fraction, how? what um, fraction of the pie did you eat? 2 divided by 6. Later, we'll see how to break apart the top and the bottom into prime factors. And if there are any that are in the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, you can cancel them. We're left with 1 over 3, so actually you ate 1 third of the pizza. Now, what types of fractions are there? Proper fractions, that's when the top part is smaller than the bottom. Numerator, smaller than denominator. Improper, that's when a fraction has bad manners. No, no, no. That's just when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. A mixed number. Hey, mixed number is like 1 and 1 half. But as you remember from last chapter, anytime we use the word and, it means uh, something added to a whole number. In last chapter, we saw decimals. In this case, when you see 1 and 1 half, or any other mixed number like this, whole number or integer and a fraction, it means 1 plus whatever that fraction is. Like fractions, those are the ones we like. And unlike, those are the ones we don't like. No, no, no. Like fraction just means the denominators are the same. Unlike fractions, the denominators are not the same. Now, the only complicating, uh, when we learn how to multiply and divide, it doesn't matter if they're like or unlike. It's just when we add and subtract. Then there's uh, um, a lot more steps when you have unlike fractions. Now, let's go over to our Excel workbook. Hey, here's our pie. You just ate two of them out of six. So what is the fraction? Equals, remember it's division. And remember also in Excel, when you start a form, um, to do a formula, you have to have an equal sign as the first character. So I'm going to click on the 2 divided by uh, that 6. Now, um, what? 3.33333. What if we want it to show up as a fraction in Excel? Well, let's just format it. Control 1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells, and it's the number tab. Notice. Wow, that's cool. We saw currency and number and accounting and date and time in our first couple of videos. But now we get to talk about this one, fraction. There's all sorts of ones. For us, this first one, it just means I'll show one digit in the top and one digit in the bottom. And you can see a sample there, one third, which is what we want. Now let's try this. Equals, I ate three pieces divided by I ate six pieces. Control Enter. Oh, it shows up as a decimal. No problem. Control 1. And I'm going to select fraction. Now, the only question is, 1 half, I thought we wanted 3 divided by 6. Well, as we'll learn later, when we reduce 3 divided by 6, does reduce down to 1 half. But what if you really want to show that 6? Well, then you're going to have to come down here to custom, custom. And the way you do it is that pound sign right there means integer. The question marks slash question marks. That means how many digits you want in the numerator, how many digits you mean, need in the denominator. I have some notes about this um, in the bottom of this sheet and lots of them on this sheet. But let's just see. If you actually want to show a number that's not showing up, like we want to see 6, you just type the 6 in the denominator. And sure enough, then that converts that to 6. And as we'll see later, since we don't have a mixed number, we can actually get rid of that. 
This is formatting, formatting, type. When you come down to custom, if you know how to type custom formatting, you can make Excel um, format whatever it is you have in the cell to look like anything. There's amazing tricks down in the custom section. Click OK. 3 divided by 6. All right, here's some notes here. I said here that pound sign means integer or whole number for us. Um, integer means negative or positive. Whole numbers are all we've seen so far. Question mark means a digit in the numerator or denominator. So question mark, question mark, slash, question mark, question mark means please show two decimal uh, digits in the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator. Now let's see if we can do this uh, uh, 1 half. We already did that. Equals 1 divided by 2. And then we need to format it. Control 1. And I'm just going to go to my fraction. And I can see the sample, so I click OK. What about um, 2 divided by 1? Remember just a moment ago, we had 2 divided by 1. How in the world do we do that? Well, let's do our formula equals 2 divided by 1. Well, that didn't work. Control 1. Let's see if we can go down to fraction and get it to show up. No way. It will not do it. So no problem. We know how to do it. We can get the denominator to be anything. Click on custom. Come down here. Put a 1. Now I'm going to get rid of that um, um, pound sign because it means show the integer. And there we go. So that question mark 1, just like we saw a second ago with question mark 6, that'll work. Now what about a mixed number like this? Here's the trick. And this is on the test, and lots of people miss it. Mixed number, uh, the best way since uh, fractions can be repeating decimals, as we'll see later. This one's not repeating. This actually is 1.5 if you're going to uh, put, put it as a decimal. But if the best way to put a mixed number into a cell so that you can deal with situations when you have lots of repeating decimals is to do like we just said. Remember? What is a mixed number? 1 plus the fraction, so no problem, or 1 plus division. So we go like this, equals 1 plus 1 divided by 2. That's how you do it. That way you can really messy mix numbers. This trick will always work. Now, how do we get it to um, show up as a mixed number? Control 1. We go down to fraction, and by default, this one is set up to show the mixed number. Remember, when we go down to cut. And one important thing about all these, last chapter we saw how to click on currency, click on accounting, click on date. We never went down here and looked. As soon as you select <coughs> any one of these formats, if you click on custom, it'll show you how they typed whatever the, the code is down here. So there it is. We can see our code. There's That's that pound sign for um, integer. Click OK. Now, uh, like fractions. 1 divided by 2. Hey, um, I'm going to, guess what? Watch this. I'm going to cheat here. Since we've already done this twice, I'm going to click here and Control C to copy, and then Control V. Notice up in the formula bar, it brought the formula and the formatting. Now, let's see if we can do 3 divided by 2 equals 3 divided by 2. Oh, this is um, an improper fraction, but in our case, it's like, because all of these have twos. Like fraction means um, they all have the same denominator. So I click there, Control-1, and I'm going to come down to Fraction. <coughs> and um, we, we, we haven't really looked at all these, but if you have like a 2 or a 4 or an 8 or 16 in your denominator, they already have one built in. So I'm going to click on this, and sure enough, uh, that won't work. So we're looking up here, so we're going to have to go down to custom. Notice it put the 2 in for us there, but no problem. I don't want to see that integer. I just click there and backspace, and then there I get my 3 divided by 2. Uh, like fractions, uh, we already know how to do those. The, I mean, oh, these are unlike. These are the ones we don't like. There's a 4. There's a, um, a 1 half. I'm going to click here and see if I can figure out how to do that 1 divided by 4 or 1 fourth equals 1 divided by 4. Control 1. By default, Excel always shows you the decimal. Control 1. I'm going to go down to fraction and see if I can find. And sure enough, there is a 4. So it'll put it in for us, and we can see the sample right there. A couple more over here. Um, our 1 divided by 2, we already know how to do that. But let's do this one. Equals 1 divided by 3. 
Now that gets a repeating decimals. Excel will show up to 15 decimals. That's it. Beyond that, it won't. But we want to show this not as a messy uh, repeating decimal, but as a fraction. So control one. I'm going to go down to fraction. And sure enough, the first one will get it for us. Now uh, let's do equals 3 divided by 4. Enter. And equals 13 divided by 16. I'm actually going to blow. And these are both examples of proper fractions because what? The numerator is bigger than the denominator. Let's see if we can just highlight them in Control-1. Notice we highlighted both cells. And see if we can get our fraction and then click OK. Now, be careful here. Uh, that 4 fifths is not equivalent to 13 16. So if you think that that is the actual number in the cell, it's not. That's formatting. Formatting can trick you. We saw this in earlier videos. So in this case, we really need to go and find uh, uh, a 16 format. So Control-1, um, Fraction. And sure enough, there is a built-in one, and it will show 13, 16. Remember, it's no problem. If you don't see a built-in one, just go down to Custom and change it. Here's our mixed number. I want to do 6 and 1 7 equals 6 plus 1 divided by 7. Don't forget that trick, because that's a good trick. Oh, messy decimal, messy decimal. Control-1. Let's see if we can just do it with our basic fraction. And sure enough, look at that. It does it. It's showing one decimal in the top and bottom. Again, uh, we got our pound sign in our uh, fraction format for single digit in the top and bottom. Now, what about this improper fraction here? 43 divided by 7 equals 43 divided by 7. Hey, well, that looks like the same number right up there. I'm going to control 1, and I'm going to look in my fraction and see if I can find one of these that has a 7 in the bottom. No way. So what do we do? We go down to custom. Now, take note here. There's two decimals in the top and one in the bottom. So I'm just going to highlight this and to get it all and just type my own. Question mark, question mark, question mark, slash 7. And sure enough, then you can see, boom, there it is. This is a great trick. Not many people know this. You are in your... Um, contracting office and someone's trying to do fractions in Excel, you can be the little superhero that comes over and goes, no problem, I know how to do it. Now, like fractions. Uh, let's just do it quickly. Equals 2 divided by 8. Enter equals 3 divided by 8. 8. Highlight both of them. Control 1. I'm going to go down to fraction. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I don't want it to be like that. I want it in 8s. Luckily, it says as 8. So I click there. I see my sample. I click OK. Now, let's try these two. Equals 2 divided by 20 equals 5 divided by 15. Now, 5 divided by, five divided by 15 is uh, 1 third, right? So it gets us that messy thing. But no way. I want to see it in 15th. I'm going to, neither one of these will work, so we'll do them one at a time. Control 1. We need simply to put a uh, 20. We need to go do a custom one question mark slash 20. And there it is. You can see it right up there. And then I'm going to click here, Control-1, Fraction. And I'm just going to skip to the chase. I need a 15 in the bottom, right? And watch this. If I do question mark, question mark, question mark, I'm putting too many, right? It'll just add some extra spaces to the front. So it, it's OK if you do that. But see how there's some extra spaces there? Control-1, I'm just going to put uh, uh, one in the top, and we actually need a 15 in the bottom. All right, a couple more things. And by the way, if you when you download this, you'll see I have a bunch of screenshots that help you with your uh, uh, custom number format. Now we want to talk about a couple other things here. Um, let's talk about adding like fractions. I, um, uh, straightforward. If we have equals one divided by four equals 1 divided by 4, and we want to add them. First, we want to format them. Control-1, I'm going to select Fraction. Um, we'll talk more about this uh, er, later. Uh, it's super easy to add like fractions. You just add them. Doing it by hand, uh, you would say 1 plus 1 equals 2. And since the denominators are the same, you keep the denominator the same. So it would be 2 over 4. But how do you add it? We do auto sum because we're adding alt equals is the keyboard shortcut. Shows us one half. If we want to see it in force, control one. I have a fourth right there. 
Now, uh, a couple more things. We want to talk about numerator and denominator and division. The quotient, we'll do, we'll do our division. The answer is called the quotient. So let's do it. Equals 789 divided by 9. Oh, a big messy number. Now, if you wanted to see what the remainder was, and you wanted to see what the, uh, sorry about that, and you wanted to see what the um, whole number part of the quotient is, you use the mod and quotient function. We talked about this last chapter, but let's go ahead and do it again now. Equals mod, and now our number is going to be uh, the numerator, comma, and then the divisor is going to be our uh, uh, denominator. And sure enough, that will tell us what the remainder is, 6. Now let's find out what the uh, whole number part of the quotient is. Equals quotient, the same thing, except remember we saw this last chapter. They use numerator and denominator. I wish they would have just picked the same terminology. That's why I put the, both the words there. But we could see even in these functions, that's uh, why in this class we're learning that there's different words, and so we're familiar with all of them, because they do show up in different places. All right, and I hit Enter. So it's 87. Um, and 6 ninths is really what we want as a mixed number. So let's go ahead and um, do our formula here equals this to do a mixed number plus 6 divided by 9. Now watch this. I'm going to do a little trick here because these are relative cell references that we talked about earlier. And I want to copy this. I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to control V and paste it there, too. That's a way of cheating without locking the cell references. Now, uh, let's go ahead and format this as an improper fraction. That means uh, we want 789 divided by 9. So I click in the cell, control 1, go down to fraction. I don't see any 9s here, so I'm just going to come down here and watch this. I'm going to question mark question mark, question mark, slash, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, that didn't work because I want a 9 in the bottom, right? It actually, um, so I'm going to backspace and put a 9. And then sure enough, look at that, we can force the issue. Now, if you wanted to get, anyway, we're forcing the issue with that 9 right there. We um, also can show it as a mixed number, which would be 87 uh, and 6 ninths. So control 1, go down to fraction. And let's see what happens if I click right there, 87 and 2 thirds. So that's pretty close, but if you don't mind that. But we mind that, so I'm going to click over here. I'm going to show down in the bottom I want a 9. And sure enough, there it is, 87 and 6 ninths. Now, one other thing uh, that I left out up here, not really, but we'll go ahead and take a look. These numbers are really the same. So watch this. I'm going to do um, highlight both cells and put the same formula into both cells at the same time. Equals 6 plus 1 divided by 7. Now, the way you put one formula into two highlighted cells, or however many cells you have highlighted, is instead of hitting Enter, you hold Control and then hit Enter. And it puts the same formula in both cells. That works especially well when you have 10 formulas going into 10 different cells, and they're all the same. Now let's um, format this, Control-1, as a mixed number, Control-1. There it is. And then uh, format this, Control-1, as a uh, improper fraction. So I'm going to put question mark, question mark, slash 7. So now, just as we saw just a moment ago, uh, these are different ways of expressing the same number. Mixed number, improper fraction. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about prime numbers and uh, reducing fractions and a bunch of other fun topics.